My name is Oliver Kamensky and I was invited by David Glombitz uh, some weeks ago to contribute to this panel and as all of my main works have been screened at the Hamburg Short Film Festival over the last year, there was no way for me to refuse this invitation. Um, just to let you know how dependent independent filmmakers are. <laughs> um, I will um, give the sometimes overlook of the, uh, of the screen works I made over the uh, last uh, 10 years. Um, and in the following 10 minutes, I will give some kind of a brief introduction to each of these projects by giving you a synopsis and some film stills and uh, what concerns the last film, oral history, even a short excerpt of the film. Um, and besides that, I will try to focus in every case on um, their questions about distribution and the presentation. Mm. I will start with Divina Obsession, the film I made in 1999. It's uh, 28 minutes long and it had been shot on 16mm negative stock. Um, on a superficial level, the topic of the film is uh, just roundabout traffic. And um, this means that on the level of the images, uh, the film consists in a series of tracking shots in which the uh, camera focuses right at the middle of, uh, of the roundabout and at the same time from off camera you hear a series of phone interviews I made with uh, street building engineers who repeatedly talk about the advantages of these constructions and about the superiority of these constructions compared to regular street crossings. All images have been shot in France where in a very short period of time some 30,000 roundabouts had been built. Um, all interviews were made with German street building engineers who had been influenced by their French precursors. In what concerns presentation and distribution of this project, um, I, um, well, well, I should start the other way around. Um, while studying at Art Academy here in Hamburg, I started um, doing film loops, Super 8 film loops, and um, loops, uh, Super 8 uh, film projections uh, in which only, in which there was no sound and you would just hear the sound of the projector, projector as the only sound. Um, so Divino Obsession in some way was my first production that I decided to uh, send to film festivals and that I wanted to be presented at yeah, festivals and maybe even in regular movie theaters. Um, the film then has been shown in a wide range of festivals and uh, even on television, which means um, uh, on the on Arti and on Dreisand, which is to those who are not German speaking, it's a, a joint venture between German, Swiss and Austrian public broadcasting companies. And um, the film also has been distributed by the Goethe Institute for about seven or eight years um, as a 16 millimeter print with different foreign language subtitles. Um, the film turned around quite a long time and um, like different people got interested in this project and after some time I decided to 
contribute to even to other people's um, installations. Um, here you see a view of uh, that of film, which has been a, a video installation at Kunstwerk in Berlin, curated by um, Michael Bauter and Antje Ehmann in 2002. For my next project, Alles, was wir haben, all that we have, I try to combine my early film installation experiences with my new knowledge about sound film of uh, Divina Obsession. So, in some way, I try to reinvent um, yeah, the movie theater, at least adapt it to my technical and artistic needs. And, um, yeah, I decided to, or uh, the, the full version of all that we have is a single channel film installation with Super 8 images transferred to digital video um, and with 5.1 surround sound displayed in an acoustically isolated space. Um, with a particular sound mix that uh, could only be displayed on a multi-channel display. Mm, all that we have is about a small northern German town and its history. Um, this town has endured over the past centuries no less than 13 extensive fires and it now houses a local history museum, which you see here. Um, and this local history museum um, has been raised to the ground too by four separate fires or four separate arson attacks over um, the last years in this case. So I was attracted to um, yeah, this uh, museum because it in some way we presented its town history in a very in a very violent way. Mm. Yeah, I will show you some more <laughs> film stills of all that we have. Um, on a visual level, all that we have is um, yeah, consists in 360 degree camera pannings through the town and its attractions. And um, meanwhile, you hear from off camera the town archivist and the manager of the museum uh, renarrate the town's and museum's history. So, this is the museum after one of the, the last arson attacks. Yeah, in its full version, as an installation, all that we have has only been exhibited three times which isn't really very much for a work that took uh, several years. And um, besides the three exhibitions, all that we have has been screened in various uh, galleries. Um, at Olaf Huber Gallery too, in, I think, 2005 in Berlin. And, um, for example, at Stedelijk Museum in Amsterdam, which both were very good screenings, but um, I, or my experience really was that at most of the gallery screenings, uh, the technical conditions were really horrible. And, um, that's why I decided uh, for my next project, all the history that has been finished in 2009, to make a 35 millimeter film print and uh, to work with Dolby as our sound. Oral history is 22 <coughs> minutes long, and in these 22 minutes, you see a series of very slow camera tracking through a village close to the woods. From off camera, you hear voices of different women reporting about this particular place. Only at the very end of the film, the film reveals that the women have never seen the place where the images were shot, 
and that they are all working for a phone hotline and just contributing to my film by improvising a story, a possible story. So, yeah, let's have a look on a short excerpt of oral history. just to name a few. And um, yeah, even if in opposition to all that we have, so my um, earlier project, all history is in its full version a 35 millimeter film print to be screened in a theater. Um, I have also produced an HD version on Blu-ray to be screened in museums and exhibition spaces. Um, but um, yeah, with the experiences I had made with all that we have, I do only agree in screening them in a very high quality uh, technical setting is guaranteed. Um, yeah, as on this occasion you see here in this installation view, which is at uh, the video panel some month ago here in Hamburg, curated by Dirk Norman and uh, Philomena Fusco. So, um, yeah, I hope I gave you a general idea of my work and maybe some um, helpful ideas for the discussion later. Thank you very much.